what is up YouTube, my name is Eidson, we are on the wonderful page of Google, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get sort of, uh, uh, hold on, let's, uh, let's start off with this. A bunch of you guys have wanted to know how I play Pokemon on my computer. As you guys know, I don't have a capture card or anything like that to hook up to my DS, so I can't play Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, but there's ways to get around that with um, first gen games through fifth gen games. Um, there is no 3DS uh, sort of capture thing on the computer as the, uh, out of as, as the moment. There is this thing called Desmume or something like that. So all the links that I use will be in the description below. Don't really pay attention to anything on my screen, like all this up here and all this down here. It doesn't matter. Whatever. Um, but yeah, here is uh, what we're going to do. So first website we're going to go to, we're going to go to Desmume. Just type in Desmume. So D-E-S-M-U-M-E. -E. Just type in Desmume. It should be the first link. You should come to Desmume.org. Am I even saying that right? I'm not sure. Des Mume. Yeah, I'm saying that right. Alright, cool. Uh, so once you're here, uh, this is the Nintendo DS emulator, which is awesome. So you can basically get any any ROM. I'll explain what a ROM is in a second, but any ROM and basically play it on the Des Mume um, sort of interface. And it's pretty, pretty cool how this works. And as you guys can see, Wi-Fi is not uh, emulated or supported, so you can't hook up Wi-Fi and you can't do Wi-Fi battles, nor can, nor are they making a 3DS, 2DS emulator. So no 3D, which kind of sucks. I think there's actually one being made in progress, but that's not going to come out for a while. They're still figuring out and stuff. But you could probably just look that up on Reddit or something like that. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so where do you want to go? You want to go over to Pages right here. And you want to come over to download. You want to click download. Then you're going to come to desmovie.org slash download. And yes, here is where all the fun happens. I personally downloaded this first one. Desmume, uh Windows 32-bit binary. Binary. I don't know. I have a Windows computer. I have Windows, I don't know, Windows 7 something. I don't really know specs. I just want things to work. But yeah, um, if you have no idea what the hell you're doing and you have a Windows computer, pick this first one. Just pick the first one. If you have a Mac, I'm assuming pick this one that says Mac. Um, yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I I I think I I think that's how it works. But yeah, I think the Mac one is kind of buggy, so be warned. Uh, then the rest of this, I'm not really sure what these are. I haven't downloaded these. Um, but yeah. So for Windows, pick the first one. So let's download this first one. We're gonna go through this together. Uh, as you download it, it'll, your download will be here. You send over to SourceForge. Now this is very scary because sometimes. Um, Sometimes these are buggy, and sometimes these will accidentally download something that's not good for your computer. Um, so now you can actually exit out of this. We will keep this up real quick, but uh, let's open this uh, Dismume. As you guys can see, this is just my desktop. Don't worry about my desktop. Um, so as you see, we have Dismume uh, 0.9.10 Windows 32. Uh, double click that, and you should get all of this stuff in here. Let me move this over, and uh, I'll probably zoom in here so you guys can see it. Uh, so you have all this nice stuff in here. Don't really touch anything in here yet. What you want to do, you want to double-click Dismume. You want to double-click the application. So double-click that. Uh, then what you want to do, I think you can run, but first, obviously, extract all. Now, I've already done this, and I'm not sure if, if it's going to affect anything if I do it already. So what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to head over to my Dismume. So after you extract all, and uh, you do all that fun sorts of stuff, uh, you'll have something that looks like this. And it basically comes with the battery, cheats, ROMs, states, and all this other stuff in here. Um, I think in here, here's the original. And once you double click that and extract all, you then want to click, do that same thing again, but click run. And then you'll get all of this in the same folder. I just transferred it into a different folder. Actually, no, I think it, yeah, it comes in two different folders. Um, so let me rephrase that. If you extract all with this, um, it will make another folder and basically become this, I believe. Um, and you'll get all this. So don't worry about battery cheats, ROM states. Don't worry about all that. All you want to do, this Desmume should now have the Desmume thing right here. It should say Desmume. It's a little icon here. Because if we go over to the other one, yeah, it does not have that. It has the sort of default Windows application thing. So as we come over here, uh, we have Desmume. Now we can double click. Uh, oops. Now <laughs> we can double click. Uh, it might say run program. Just click run. And now this will come up. However, this won't come up like this. You can change the layout, so it, it has probably come out like this, I'm assuming. Like, it, vertical. It's come, uh, come out vertical. I personally like to play horizontal. Just That's just because, that's, that's just me, really. I just like to play horizontal. Um, and we can make it bigger and smaller and all this fun stuff. Um, and, yeah, so basically, uh, the way to actually get the ROM now, we'll, f we'll do the config in one sec, but the way, the way we actually get the ROM... Um, 
we actually have to type it in Google. Let's let's get Diamond Randomized. Yeah, let's get let's get Diamond ROM. Let's get a Diamond ROM. So we can go di Pokemon Diamond ROM. That's all we want to type in. Pokemon Diamond ROM. That's all you want to type in. Uh, the one I used, I used ROMHustler.net. So if you see a ROMHustler.net, this one right here, click on that one. That's the one I used. Uh, now basically, what you want to do, uh, you're on Rum Hustler. Now this website does seem kind of sketchy. I understand, uh, but it's not. I used it. it per works perfectly fine. No malware at all or anything like that. Uh, but yeah. So basically, what you want to do, you want to come down here to click here to download this ROM. What you want to do is uncheck Use Download Accelerator and Get Recommended Offers. What this will do will send a bunch of stuff to your computer, bad stuff, and you just don't want that happening. So just uncheck that. Do not worry about it. Nothing bad will happen. Um, so yeah. So don't worry about that. So all you want to do, click here to download this ROM, and I think you're going to need WinRAR. Uh, excuse me, WinRAR to uh, download this and just type in WinRAR. It's like a free download, pretty much on Google, just download it, and you can basically extract this. So let's let's go, Let's uh, we can extract it to our desktop. Uh, let's save that to our desktop, and now that's loaded. Let's show this in our folder, and as we see, we have Pokemon Diamond V05 US. Um, and here, you have an NDS file. Now this is exactly what you use for Desmume, which is awesome. Um, and so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take Desmume, and you're gonna take this folder. All you're gonna do to actually play Diamond is to do this, drag it right in, except that might not work. So what you're going to actually have to do, uh, you're going to have to go over to File, Open ROM, Desktop, or wherever you saved it, uh, head over to Pokemon Diamond, uh, that didn't work, uh, hold on, head over to Pokemon Diamond, right click, click Open, and then you should have this NDS file. Now what this, it just uses NDS file, GBA files, uh, seven files, zip files, anything like that, it's basically going to play the game for you. So definitely have that NDS file. It really, you can name it whatever. Click open, uh, and then it should come up. See, you guys, as you can see, it is perfectly working fine. We can play the game however we want. Chillin' Pokemon Diamond right here, and we can basically get into the game if we wanted to. But uh, we're not gonna do that. So let's uh, let's stop. Is there a way to stop it? I, I I think we can just reset. Actually, yeah, we just reset. Uh, it will just keep starting up again. So let's close the ROM. Close the ROM. That's it wiped out. Now if you want to randomize it, you're going to have to type in on Google universal universal randomizer. That's what you want to type in. Now it should be the first link right here. So you're going to click that uh, and then uh, you should get to this. Universal, it should be like this page right here. You want to head over to downloads. Uh, now it downloads basically where you want to click, you want to get the most recent release, which is actually sometime in 2015. I don't know what 16 is. I guess January 16th. They updated it, so definitely download that one. Get it by clicking here, um, and this will give it to you as, uh, again, a WinRAR um, you know, file. I already have this downloaded, so there's no point in me downloading it, it again. You should get this thing called the UP Randomizer. Um, and so let's actually pull up the UP Randomizer right here. Uh, where is it? I have my UP randomizer right here, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I have all my stuff in here. I have everything up to episode three up in here. So I've recorded up to, up to episode three. So spoilers, that's, that's all that stuff. Um, let's see, let's see. So you, what you're going to see here in the UP randomizer, you're going to see settings, license, randomizer, read me. You can look at the settings if you want. You really can't change anything unless you know you're good at it. You can obviously look at the license if you want to, or in the README. You don't really have to read this. It's too much. I, I've never read it in my life. Uh, but yeah, you're going to click randomizer. You're going to double click it, and then you're going to wait for it to open, and you should come up with Universal Pokemon Randomizer, which is awesome. So cool how this works. Now, the way to randomize it, you go to Open ROM, go to your desktop or wherever you save that other file, and uh, basically what you're going to do from here, it's very difficult. You want to go de uh, to where you ever saved it. You're going to actually have to use your desktop here. So you want to go into the file, and you're going to want to take the NDS file, drag it to the desktop. Trust me, this is the only way to do this. Drag it to the desktop. So now it's at the desktop. Now you want to exit out again, open the ROM back up, and you should see the NDS file chilling right here on the desktop. Then you, want, you then want to click open, and then it should open it up, and now it's in the system. Uh, you can now change it to whatever you want, fool around with it, have some fun with it. Uh, some Here are the things that I used for my Pokemon Diamond randomizer. Uh, here, I think these are all the ones I used. So I did change impossible EVOs. Um, and yeah, you can basically hover over and it'll tell you the, uh, basically what this is. Um, so yeah, I did that. What else? Starter Pokemon. Here is the starter Pokemon. Here's the actually randomization right here. You can go to custom, 
You can customize it yourself. Like, let's say you want a Vespa Queen, uh, you want a Cherubi, uh, oops, and let's say you want a Starly as your starters. Or you can go to random completely or random basic Pokemon with two evolutions. So it picks three random starters, and these Pokemon have to have two evolutions or more. So you can't get like a Jinx or anything like that. I think that's what that says. I'm not sure. But I just did random completely, and I happened to get a Haunter, a Monferno, and a Paris. So that, that was pretty cool. Um, so you want to click that. Pokemon types, you can change that if you want. Pokemon movesets, change that if you want. Trainers Pokemon, here's what makes it even more random. You go to random. Type themed is actually pretty cool. So each trainer, like let's say you battle the first trainer of the game. I don't know who that is, um, but that trainer will have only rock types or only bug types or only water types. So things like that. It also affects it in the gyms. Uh, so gyms will only be one type, I believe. Um, so what I did, I just did random. And you can pick this if you want. Rivals carry stars to the game. Uh, don't use legendaries. No early wonder guard. I did check no early wonder guard, by the way. And this only happens until level 20. So Shen Ninjas won't be an issue for you, really, until you get to level 20, in which you should have something to deal with Shen Ninja, which my, my team does. I do. Um, so that's all right. Um, and don't use legendaries. Uh, you can check that if you want. I, I, as you guys, oh, I don't know if you guys, no, yeah, you guys will know this by episode two. This will be uploaded after episode two. So if you haven't checked out episode two, the link to that will also be in the description below. I don't have, ch don't use legendaries because as you can see, we've already battled a Ho-Oh before. Um, and, uh, yeah. Try to use Pokemon with similar strength. I don't know really what that does. You can hover over and see what that does. Rivals carry starters to the game. That's something pretty cool. So no matter what, the starter will get a or the yeah your rival will get a starter and he'll use that throughout the entire game, which is pretty cool. Something I also checked. I checked these randomized trainer names and things like that, uh, just for the lulls. I ch I checked. Yeah, there's it's there's really no point. It just randomizes their names and stuff. Uh, Wild Pokemon. Here's another randomization thing. You want to click random to this one. Uh, I'm not. I've never tried area once what mapping or global, but you can test it out yourself and get back to me basically in the comment section below. Um, yeah. Also, if you have any questions, leave a comment. Additional rules, similar strength, catch them all mode. So I think you have to catch them all. What does this even do? Every Pokemon shows and replaces an encounter. Ooh. So that means every Pokemon will show up. That's actually pretty cool. No matter what. That's actually really cool. Awesome. Uh, so we'll click on just because that's what I like to use. Don't use legendaries. That means you can't find a legendary in the wild. Um, I think in episode, was it two or three? It might have been two that we actually did find uh, a Cresselia. Actually, that might be in episode three, so spoilers. But we did find a Cresselia. Uh, we didn't catch it, though. Uh, set minimum catch rate. I don't know what that does. It randomized held items. I do have this checked because I believe in episode one, a Vulpix had like a berry on it. And Vulpixes don't usually have berries on them. So randomized held items will give it a random held item. Static Pokemon, I think this is sometimes glitchy, but I do have it to random completely. This is basically, if you're going up against, let's say, uh, Dialga, and you have to walk up to Dialga, and you have to battle him in order to initiate the battle, it, a Dialga will not show up. <laughs> I think I have this checked, so that kind of sucks. So we won't actually be getting a Dialga, that just makes the randomizer a bit more random, which is pretty cool. Uh, TMs and HMs, I do have this set to random, and then I don't have any of this checked. Um, and then I don't have any of this checked either. This just changes every single TM in the game. All TMs are different. HMs are not affected, however. So you can still get HMs in the game and stuff like that. Uh, move tutors are not yet randomized or randomizable yet. Uh, In-game trades. I have this to both requested and given. Um, I'm not sure if I'm at this episode yet. It might be in episode 3. Um, but remember the Swampert trade for that other Pokemon? Or something like that. I forgot what the trade is, but like someone wanted like a, my Swampert for another Pokemon. That's it's not normally like that, obviously, because that'd be really overpowered. Um, but yeah, so I have that set to randomize both, and then this is just checked for the lols, nicknames, OTs, IVs, items. It doesn't matter really. Then field items I have set to randomize, and that just randomizes every field item in the game, which you guys already know from episode number one. Um, so yeah, that's basically how that works. That's just my settings really with it. Um, so now. We can head over to randomize or save, and we can save it. Uh, now I suggest doing this on your desktop, just so it's easy. You can always move around the file if you want. Uh, you can save this. Let's save this to uh, PewDiePie. Uh, PewDiePie. Let's just save that to PewDiePie. Why the hell not? PewDiePie.nds. That's cool. So we'll save that to our desktop. Chilling right there. Uh, do you want to save a log file randomization point? There's no point of this, really. Um, this is only for races, so don't really worry about that right now. So just click no. Uh, then here is your random seed and string, which is pretty cool. So this basically is used, if you ever lose the NDS file, you should probably produce this file. And what this does, you could probably save this on your desktop as well. So let's name this uh, PewDiePie file. 
Uh, and there we go, preset, and there we go. So basically what this is, if you were to put this seed into pre-made seed right here, it would immediately come up, which is pretty cool. So let's do this. Let's let's try this. There we go. Double click, and now it's already in, which is awesome. And it already has the uh, ROM. All you have to do is put the ROM in, uh, and it should be good. There we go, and apply, and boom. Now you have it. It's all saved and all of that good stuff. Uh, you don't have to do that, by the way, so I suggest you don't really just because it might get screwed up and you have to redo it all so don't worry about it just don't actually do the file uh, but yeah that's basically what you do now to put it in desmume all you have to do is take pewdiepie.nds and drag it into here so yeah if you have it on your desktop just drag it right in and it should be randomized it should come up perfectly fine and all of this fun stuff uh, are we gonna run through this real quick I don't think it's needed uh, but I think this first Pokemon is randomized uh, hold on let's see Let's see if it has worked. So, uh, it, it's not. Okay. Whatever. Well, the Munchlax, it's usually... Sh yeah. It's, it, I guess it's always Munchlax, but we don't know for sure if it's actually randomized. We can actually check, however, with the randomizer to see if it is randomized. So if we go back into the randomizer and click Open ROM, back to the desktop, go over to PewDiePie.NDS, open it, we can actually see that the starter Pokemon have changed. So our, our starter Pokemon would have been a Motham, a Mawile, and an Anorith. So as you guys can see, it does work. So that is pretty cool, guys. So that's how that works. Um, I guess I can now go over Dismume. So let me open back up my Dismume and all my settings that I personally use for Dismume. Uh, so I obviously use a horizontal, top first, uh, and so the top will be on this screen over here. Uh, rotation, just click that zero. Window size, you can really set this to whatever. This just makes it bigger or smaller, but you can just do that by dragging. Um, the screen gap, uh, I don't think this works unless you have something else checked. I'm not sure, but yeah, so don't worry about screen gap. Uh, magnifi magnification filter, don't worry, just click normal. Maintain aspect ratio, you can have this on if you want. This just makes it so you can't just make it all loopy and make it go everywhere. Uh, pad to integer, I have no idea what that is. And then show toolbar, always have that on. The HUD, the HUD, you don't really need to have any of this. You don't need to have any of this really. So yeah, don't worry about that. Frame skip, I have that set to 2 and limit frame rate and automize, or auto minimize skipping. Set that to 2. Uh, makes it easier and easier frames and things like that. Emulation settings, uh, just, yeah, just make sure this is just like this. Don't really worry about anything else. Uh, 3D settings, don't worry about it. Sound settings, you can change the sound if you want. I have my sound at 7 just because this can get really loud. Um, so I set mine to 7. Uh, there we go. We also have firmware settings. Don't worry. Microphone settings. I don't think this matters just because you're not going to be using your microphone. So, yeah, there's other programs to use microphones with. Uh, slot 1 and slot 2. Don't worry. Auto detect save type. Just use internal. ROM loading. Uh, stream from disk. Control config. Now, you can set your controls. These are my controls. So, you can try out my controls if you want. Uh, just take a, look, take a little screen and you pause the video if you want. Uh, so, those are my controls for that. Which is pretty cool. Then my hotkey config. I have everything basically disabled except for fast forward. Fast forward is the way you go super fast. So I just have that set to shift. So I can basically use Y and my WASD keys just to move around real easy. I don't even use my mouse at all besides clicking on the second screen pretty much. Uh, and you can obviously switch this. But you have main. You have tools. Uh, basically just copy this if you want the exact same stuff as mine. Um, yeah, there we go. We have movie. I have all that disabled. Save states, I'll have all that disabled. Save state slots, that, that's just like this. Don't really worry about that. Um, then turbo, don't even worry about that either. And other, don't worry about that. So basically main is what you want. Just basically just set shift for fast forward. You can always change it if you want. So there we go. Uh, let's see, path settings, just don't worry about this. I have not touched this at all. Background pause. Now ba what background pause is, if I were to be here and then I were to go into this window, it, the game would pause, and the game would not load. Nothing would be walking around or anything like that. The battle would just stop in mid-place and be paused. Now, if I go back in it, it will come back to being normal. So don't worry. So just leave it checked if you want. I don't think it matters. Uh, make sure that's direct draw HW, and then advanced. Uh, don't touch. Tools. I have not used tools at all. Cheats. I I have no cheats. I can't even list the cheats. See, I, that's how you know I don't have any cheats. Um, and, uh, yeah, so that's basically it for this movie. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. Hopefully I didn't go too fast for you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If this helped you in any way, make sure you smash the out that like button. If you need any refreshes or anything, always you can email me, etongaming at gmail.com, or just leave a comment down below. Tweet me at Twitter. 
you know, message me on Twitch or anything like that. I'm very open to being, you know, emailed or messaged or anything like that. And uh, yeah.